Howdy, and welcome to Book Your Give Here. We're travel that gives. I'm Lulu Lima, your chief travel guru. I hope this episode of Dream Now, Travel Later inspires you to travel, and I invite you to give us the opportunity to help plan your next memorable trip. So grab your popcorn and enjoy. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Wonderlust Wednesday. I am super excited because today we are bringing you a very Wonderlust destination. It is an unknown gem. It is called Georgia, not the state of Georgia in the United States, but rather the country. And with us today, we have Lauma, who is a tour operator um, based in Georgia, and she is going to focus on telling us and educating us all about this beautiful unspoken gem. So with that, I'm going to give the floor over to Lauma so she can play it along. Go for it, girl. Thank you very much. Yes, my name is Lauma and uh, I'm from Georgia. And today I will introduce you, like already Lulu said, Georgia is not only a state, but it's a country located in the Europe and Asia crossroads. So um, yes, we are tour operators. So me and Lulu, we're gonna, we're gonna help you to get no better Georgia. Yeah, and this is awesome. So here's a great map to kind of give us an idea of where Georgia is. And uh, and then basically, um, you know, in terms of the neighboring countries, we can um, get you there uh, via Russia or Turkey. Um, so really, um, you know, great opportunities um, for, for you to enjoy this beautiful land. Yes, well, Georgia capital city is Billy. See how you can see that in the map? Uh, the main airports in Georgia is uh, Tbilisi, Kutaisi, and Batumi. Tbilisi is the capital, Kutaisi is uh, more located in the middle of the country, and Batumi is in a seaside resort. So it depends uh, how it's more comfortable for you to get to Georgia. So Georgian neighbor countries are Russia, Turkey, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. I guess that from the States, more comfortable to fly is with Turkish Airlines through the Tur Tur yeah. Istanbul, I guess, but there is a lot yes, of... Yes, Turkish, Tur Turkish Airlines does have a, a, a nice little um, opportunity, yeah. but we also have the ability also to um, to go through uh, through Russia um, on, some of the, um, on, air, on uh, some of the Russian Airlines, and um, that's also a great feasible yeah. option yeah. as well. Be, but for a moment we don't have flights from Russia to Georgia due to the politi okay. political situation so for a moment we don't have them so yes as already we said Tbilisi is the capital with the population around one and a half million people here uh, there's a lot of things to see and do when you are in Tbilisi city is very nice uh, clean and very safe uh, even during the night time, it's safe walk around, so there is no problems. So next, uh, we have uh, different destinations in Georgia. So we have uh, sea resorts, we have ski resorts, we have health and wellness resorts, and uh, we have a wine region, I don't know, mountain regions, caves, cave cities, all this I will tell you in this presentation. So, but, uh, so, so that's awesome. So we're going to start off with some sea resorts. Yes. Um, and so obviously you're going to have some picturesque be uh, beaches um, all on the coast and it's really, a, you know, a, a beautiful view, um, an, an unhidden gem and um, let's kind of, you know, explore. Yes, well, the general city like is uh, Batumi. Batumi is a Black Sea Pearl, Black Sea Resort, uh, like a second capital of Georgia, big city. Uh, it's very fast developing right now. We have oh, old houses, we have new skyscrapers. It's like, I don't know, mixed uh, Soviet times with the Dubai. We were still developing. That's awesome. So in this video, we're going to see a little bit of um, that whole area. Yes. And, and it'll give us an idea of, you know, what we're looking at. Well, but Tumi is located in a very good place because uh, it's uh, you can see it, you can enjoy the sea and you can also enjoy the mountains because the mountains is only one hour drive from the city so it's a very nice chance to explore different areas. 
Yeah. Oh, am I freezing? Here we go. Sorry about that. Somehow or another, it keeps freezing, the sound. Um, so we can, obviously, you know, you're talking about a lot of different um, experiences that you can have um, yeah, in the summer capital. Ireland, you see. Uh, if you are with the family and kids, you can go to Dolphin Ireland. If you want to go out from the Kamita Mountains, you go for day trip. Go for day trip to the Dolphin Mountains. We have a bull around. And it's so beautiful here. I mean, there's so many um, things that we can see and um, really? experience. Yeah, the power here now and Black Sea Beach. This is our special McDonald's. What do you see in that video? That was awesome. So um, you also have some great ski resorts. Yes, we have also ski resorts. Georgia works like uh, all year long. Uh, summertime, we have a beach. Uh, winter, in autumn, we have wine and uh, grape picking, harvesting. In the winter, we have uh, ski, skiing, ski resorts, mountain resorts. Uh, so, moment, it's here. Um, Yes, the most popular uh, winter resort is Gudauri. It's uh, it's international and a lot of people around the world already know it because it's one of the oldest ones as well. There is a lot of things what you can do there. Heli, ski, I don't know, free ride, uh, paragliding, a lot of things really. Uh, it's maybe not so developed as Europe's uh, uh, ski resorts, but it's very nice ski resort and the prices are very friendly. Also, we had the Bakuriani, Mestia and Goderzio. Bakuriani ski resort is more for families, that's very nice. Uh, but uh, the Mestia and the Goderzi, Mestia is a bit more far and Goderzi is like uh, very remote and uh, like a little bit wild ski resort. So if you are looking for that, then you can find the different ski resorts. It depends on the traveler and what he wants to get here. But yeah, awesome. Friendly. Well, awesome. Yeah. And so the next part that we're gonna um, talk about is actually health and wellness resorts. So health and wellness in Georgia is a little bit um, more on the medical side. Um, even though there is opportunities for recharging and, and so forth. But we want to kind of um, highlight some of these pieces because some people actually like to um, travel for um, a lot of these wellness opportunities. So um, so, so with that, you've got um, a, a number of different, uh, like I mentioned, medical resorts um, that, and you have an abundance of thermal springs. And um, so, so, so it's really great opportunity for, for anybody who may want to also do um, any surgeries or things like that um, and not have, uh, and not have a high cost behind them. Yes, of course. Prices in Georgia is very friendly and yes, we have a different uh, health resorts. Each of them uh, treat like a different disease because in one they use mud, the other one they use, uh, I don't know, mineral springs uh, and those waters. It's uh, very different, but uh, you need to get a diagnosis before you come here. Of course, you can do that here, but this is how you can save your time. But uh, and also those uh, resorts, they are located in a different, very beautiful places. So it doesn't mean that you're just in that, that resort and don't see anything during the daytime. You can have a, those procedures in the morning and then afternoon you can go somewhere more outside and see some nice places. Actually, yeah, what that's awesome. And so and as you guys can read, there's a lot of different um, resorts here that treat a lot of the um, a, a lot of the illnesses that you know we we run through um, on a daily basis here in the U.S. And so a lot of them stem from our nervous system or just the way we eat um, yeah. and things like that. And so for those of you guys who are looking to kind of get that jump start on you know getting healthy again, this is a great opportunity. Yeah, that's true. Also, I want to mention one more thing. What is not in this presentation, but uh, like a month or two ago, I more getting that information that we have a, a fog therapy, bacterial fog therapy here in Georgia. Uh, what, uh, yes, 
Are, do you know what is that? No, I'm intrigued. <laughs> I I'm sorry I can't like uh, tell by my words, but I will just read to say correctly. Yes, the fog therapy is an effective treatment solution for patients who have bacterial infections and they do not respond to the antibiotics. So that's very special treatment way, and we have uh, like fog centers and. Uh, the the thing how they treat is uh, if i i haven't uh, tried that but i just know that we have that thing for good prices so they use those fogs to treat your disease they kill disease with something else not the antibiotic but that's a that's like a thousands of hundreds of years it was developed before the antibiotics yet so it's interesting something interesting that people who know that they will understand what I mean with this. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, for those of you guys who are really into this, um, you know, the health and wellness and, and really going to resorts to um, have these therapeutic um, uh, options and, and obviously deal with um, diseases on a more natural basis, this is a great opportunity. And for those of you guys who are health coaches who may want to take a group here, um, you know, or have a retreat in, into these destinations, we definitely can do that. So, um, and really use Mother Earth to, um, you know, to heal us. So. I didn't mention before, well, like you say about the groups, we have a lot of uh, options for the, the fitness tours, you know, for yoga tours very nice areas the same but to me the same mountain places is very beautiful and very good thing so if there is a people who want to have the yoga tour to georgia so welcome yeah no that's that's awesome so with that um we have another video here that we're gonna play um and this is really just to kind of give us a little bit more of um you know what we are, can experience in in these resorts yes this is uh, one of the oldest one health resorts uh, so here you can see what's treated there and how it's happening maybe it's not the the most modern one but uh, it's uh, very good because of those rotten waters and other things Yes, and, and again, using Mother Earth to heal you. Yeah. But if you go to health resorts, you need to take into account that it's uh, there is a like a packages to use the treatment. There is a packages. I don't know, seven days, ten days. Minimum is seven, I think. But you need to count on the ten days or something like this. If yeah. it's really and serious, and if it's not for just enjoying the health resort, that's it. Of course. And so, and for those of you guys who are looking to plan this, obviously, um, I will work um, to make sure that you've got everything that you need um, and, and all of those moving pieces. So that's part of part and parcel of what we do. Um, so the, the beautiful part is, is that we can combine, you know, having some of some of this opportunity for uh, the wellness and being treated, and then you can go off and maybe explore some wine region that's true yes well the best time to explore wine region Kacheti or racha is of course uh, starting from september till the middle of october something like this uh, georgia is one of the oldest uh, world uh, wine making countries and uh, yes we have the harvest time in september and we call it Ertveli. Ertveli is a uh, grape picking and it's a uh, it's like a tradition in Georgia. It's tradition uh, for thousands of years. It's tradition from um, from the old times, and the families uh, still care about it because uh, it's like you go home on your Thanksgiving. Yes. People here go to the parents' house when it's Rtveli time. So it means that all family comes together and they pick grapes. That's awesome. Uh, they also let people join to that. Uh, so if you want, just uh, come and we will help you get introduced with the local families and join them for a grape picking. Georgian people are very hospitable and uh, people in Georgia think that guests are uh, gifts from the God. So that's how they treat you when you are the guest. It's, 
a gift from the God. How awesome. And so is wine. So look at that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so with that, we're going to move over to um, the mountain regions, which, yeah, you know, you guys have quite a bit of mountainous oh, areas so as well. Cool. The, the, the one before, that's very important thing I want to say about Kaheti. Okay. Uh, Kaheti is the wine region and uh, the capital of Kaheti is Sihinagi and what is important we will also talk about that a bit later but uh, in Kaheti is Sihinagi is a city of love and we call it like this because uh, it's like it's even uh, well, in the States you can get married very fast in Las Vegas right uh, yeah. in Georgia you can get married very fast in uh, Sihinagi so uh, you don't need uh, no preparations. You just take your passports and you get married there. But it's not a joke. Maybe in Vegas it's a joke, but in Georgia it's not a joke. You can really be married for in the next day, in the same day. Yeah, already. no, in, in in Vegas it's a real marriage too. Oh, so, right. okay. so so it's uh, yeah. So once you do it, you are taking that leap of faith. Um, yeah. Great. So so going back to the mountain regions yeah. now. Um, you know, we, we have quite a bit of different mountain regions that you guys can explore. So yeah. um, let's talk about some of these mountain regions. Okay, this one, the mountain of Sajara is the closest one to the Batumi. So if you are in Batumi, you can uh, uh, see the closest mountains and the more a bit more far mountains. The more far are more remote and the more wild. The closest one are not so wild because uh, they already, we have a lot of tourists uh, not right now, but we have them. So they are a little bit spoiled already, but the most far ones are very wild and very nice. So if you have time, you can go for two, three days uh, away from Batumi and see the mountains and then get back to the seaside and enjoy the sea. So Kasbegi, that's the same Gudauri, what we talked about the winter ski resorts. In the summertime, uh, you can do there also paragliding, hiking, I don't know, Jeep tours. Um, mountain biking tours, a lot of stuff you can do there. Also rafting, it's very close to Tbilisi, not but from Batumi, it's very far, but it's close to Tbilisi and it's very beautiful. Also very popular, but very beautiful. One of uh, my so awesome. in Tbilisi, in, in Georgia. Tusheti, Tusheti is a remote uh, region. It's only open in the summertime at the end of the May to, I don't know, October. It depends on the weather. That, that's okay. something we can't affect when they open the roads. So yes, you can see there is only shepherds in the summertime and sheep and you need very professional driver to get up on these mountains because as I mentioned, it's very remote and the Shetty okay. Road is one of the most dangerous roads in the world in the, the list. Oh, wow. Of yes but if you want to have a photo tour or hiking or i don't know something uh, also mountain biking if you want to have something special and then you already leave city and uh, live nothing so good maybe conditions like in city but in very nice guest house and you are welcome because you will never regret it's one of the most beautiful places in georgia and that's awesome and so, and, and, we, and we love to have that cultural immersion, right? So you really get an opportunity to be with the locals um, in these areas. Well, so, have, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, so Hefsreti is a neighbor region for uh, Tusheti. And it's also remote, also very beautiful. And also you can explore a lot of interesting things. It's enough for two days go to have already two, three days. And to Shetty, maybe you need more, like four or five. And the road is not so dangerous, but it's very beautiful. So it's the same. Yeah, and that's awesome. So, and, and you have, again, having a lot of opportunities to be with the locals, getting um, local food and so forth. So that's really great. Yes, well, here is Svaneti. Svaneti is very popular with the towers, Svaneti and towers. And it's yeah. uh, it's like six, seven, seven hours drive from Belisi, and uh, it's our pearl. It's in UNESCO, it's very beautiful, it's very popular. And then there is uh, lakes and, uh, I don't know, you can see a lot of things beautiful on the way there. You can see caves and waterfalls. And when you get up to Svaneti, you can see those towers go hikings to the glaciers and lakes. And it's very, very beautiful. You even in also in winter time as well. That was the other place, uh, like one of 
the place as what was mentioned in the uh, ski resort place. Yes. Ski resort is, well, they're not so developed, but they're still nice. But uh, and, and they're not as crowded. So for no. those of you guys who who want to ski um, and not be uh, you know overcrowded, this is great. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's really true. Uh, also, it's uh, Svaneti Resort is more close to Kutaisi Airport. Not the Belisi Airport, but the Kutaisi Airport, these mountains. But uh, to Kutaisi fly our low coasters. So those are not going to be comfortable for you, but uh, for the other part of the world, yes. For the Europe, it's more comfortable. And understood. So let's play a little video now just so we can kind of get an idea of what the experience will be. This is Tusheti, the most beautiful and remote region where I told you that it's open in summertime only. Yes. What a beautiful view and yes, it makes there... me want to go right now. We're <laughs> waiting for you. <laughs> People are not spoiled. They are very friendly. They're very hospitable. They will take care about you and they will not even want any money for that. That's awesome. It's you know, a beautiful way of life. How we say in Georgia, the best thing what you can uh, do is uh, get lost because uh, you will not be lost. <laughs> Georgians will take care about you. And you've got you know, people, I mean, obviously ages, the kids can easily roam um, it, and, and it's just, it's safe, it's beautiful. Georgians love kids a lot, really. Kids uh, always will be happy in here. They take care a lot. If they see a kid, not even their kid, they will take care about it on street. They will kiss it, they will hug it, they will, I don't know, give something sweet to eat. They're really nice. That's so awesome. I love that. It really goes to show about who the type of people are. So, and, and because a lot of this area is, you know, pre-Christianity, a lot of those old cultures and customs still stay. Yes, that's true. Georgia is... So, how... Yes, also... We have uh, beautiful canyons and waterfalls. They are located more to the part where is located Kutaisi Airport. So um, actually, Georgia, if you want to see uh, a lot here, you need at least 12 days. So you can uh, do a round trips and include those canyons, mountains, sea, capital city, a lot of interesting places. In these pictures, you can see Martvili Canyon, uh, where the boat is. You can see Oka oh, Kincha Waterfall, and you can see Okatsa Canyon, which is uh, uh, like a walk about the trees. It's very beautiful. It, it, it looks amazing. The nature here is awesome. And for you guys who love adventure, um, you know, you, you love that rafting opportunity and things like that. This is absolutely awesome. So we definitely can um, keep you guys pretty yes, well fit during your trip. In this region, it could I see region where are located these things that are also popular. Yeah, so, and these are some of the waterfalls, no? Yes. That we're yes. watching now. So that was Martvili. This is not really as much as I see from here still. Not I mean, it's untouched beauty. It's complete, you know, nature at its best. It is. Yes, it's not really a canyon. I think it will now change to the other one. This is the Kincha waterfall, one of the highest waterfalls in Georgia. 